and welcome to my new let's play of the game called Rise of Industry. I just found this game a couple of days ago and I have been looking at it and I also tried the free demo that they have available and I really like this game. Um, basically this game is about running an industry, producing products and selling these products and you have to make sure that they get around the towns and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, I really love the graphics as you can see here. This is the graphics how it looks in game. Um, I have not played much of this. I played the tutorial and this one right here I believe. And I also played around with it a little bit and I have been watching a couple of videos with it. So I think I know what I'm doing. But basically welcome to a new let's play with this game. I'm very excited about it and um, yeah you can it's on Steam. You can find it down in the link below. Um, I don't know if you might be able to find it on GOG or something like that, GOG.com, um, good old games. Uh, I don't know if it's there, I didn't check, but if it's there, I'll leave it there as well. But anyways, let's start this game, I think I know what I'm doing, so let's go. Let's start with career mode. Build your own empire with nothing but a little money and a dream. Set your own difficulty, grow through the tech tree and rise to the top. This game actually, re oh boy. Okay, uh, this game actually um, reminds me a lot of a game, open source free game called OpenTTD that I used to play back in the day and th that I still really like. Um, I'm guessing they have copied that and made it into this, but let's let's see. Um, road orientation, right? Yes. Map size. I think I'll leave everything. Um, newcomer experienced i'm not that experienced so i'm gonna choose newcomer what is the highest custom nah what is the highest below that <laughs> startup nah. let's do newcomer because i'm again new to this game uh, infinite resources yes resource availability ah. i'll just leave it as is because We'll always be able to choose a new game if we choose to. So a new season, so season two, for example. Let's do play. All right, warming up. This game is currently in the alpha phase and it's not complete. That is correct. I should mention that as well if it's on early access. At the time of this recording anyway, and at the time of this recording, I don't know if it still will be when this video gets released, but it's actually on sale. So yeah, that's that. All right. So here we are. This is a game. I use WASD to move around. And whoa, the map is actually kind of big. I did not expect it to be this big, but you know what? That's fine. I'm fine with it. Welcome to the Rise of Industry. Let's begin by placing the headquarters. You can place it anywhere. It will grant a full permit for the region. It's in. Ooh, that's good. If you want to, you can disable these helpers in the interface settings. All right. So what you gotta do is you gotta select a region. For example, this is Fort Morgan and you can see the blue line here indicates the border of that region. So and as you can see up here, the red border here indicates the border of River Bottom. So we gotta choose a region here and what I'm gonna choose is um, depends on what these guys are demanding or they can they can uh, get which I can produce. Uh, so many products, so many choices. Here you can see what the settlement wants and how much it's willing to pay for them. Notice that selling something at 100% means there is very little profit, so try to aim it ev at very high percentages. Okay. I think what I can do is actually click on the town and I can see shop the town and wholesaler. So I can see we have a farmer's market. I can see we have a hardware store and I can see we have a wholesale here which gets takes water and I can produce many of these things. Um, and I believe they will require more and more difficult things or advanced things because if we go to the tech tree as you can see we can move all the way up to different things depending on the thing that we choose. So carpentry or paper mill or textile etc. And we get, th and this is actually the resource, the research tree. We have to research our way down, but we get three unlocks available, only for the first and second row. So that is pretty cool. The rest we will have to buy us through. And we have 15 million to start off with, and the game is also passed. All right. Okay, so these are some things we can do. Um, not much, but it's there. I'm gonna close these for now. I'm gonna take a look at what resources we have in this area. 
So we have we have trees, we have ocean, but we don't really have any raw resources like coal or anything like that. Um, let's take a look at Ohai menu. Hopefully I'm saying that right. What do we have here? What's this? Oil. So we got oil. Uh, okay. We could start with some oil. We could start with some oil and potentially move up to gas. If we take a look at the tech tree, if we go to... Uh, I don't know where oil would be. Here we go. Oil. So we can actually produce oil and gas and that would lead us down to plastic as well. And... Yeah. So we got oil here as a raw resource. Um, I don't know if we will have anything else in this region. Uh, you know what? I've never finished actually. Uh, what is this? Water. All right. So we got oil in this area. We could use that. We actually have a lot of it down here. And up here. Hickston? Hickston? Hopefully, correct me if I'm saying these names wrong. I do not use, live in the US. So I don't know all the town names. I know some. But my pronunciation might be wrong. <laughs> um, does this look like we have any natural stuff? We we have a lot of wood. Um, then we have this town here, which does not seem to have any coal or anything like that either, which is unfortunate. Does not seem like we have anything here. Um, yeah, I think we might start it with start with that um, oil thing. Either oil, or we could do something like potatoes. Let's see for more information. Hmm. Uh, these guys also require wood, but it doesn't seem like we have any any big things around here. Um, state available products. Cool. Yeah, I'm still I'm still learning this. <laughs> An organized list of every recipe in the game. All right. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm kind of leaning towards this um, this town here because we got wood. We can produce wood. We can produce sand. We can produce many things here, including the oil. So I think we'll start at um, at this town here. So I'm gonna place down my headquarters, which is gonna be free. Pressing the wrong buttons. I'm gonna place it right at the entry point at the town because why not? Please keep in mind this is an industrial simulator game. Try to find out what tells what instead of producing products you might never be able to sell due to non existent demand. Click on the various elements to see what shops they have. Indeed. So, we have oil here. So, I'm gonna go down in gatherers and I'm gonna take a look at if we have a oil drill. Here, now this is going to gather us, will collect units of raw resources from the map using harvesters, depending on which gatherer you select, you may need to connect the harvesters to the hub with a road. Make sure you place a warehouse nearby to help distribute your raw resources. Yes, we'll get to that. So these things, some of these things will produce pollution, which of course we don't want much. So uh, I'm going to place it right here because it covers up all this oil here, which will be good. So I'm going to place it right there. Cool. And then we have these houses. So I'm gonna put it here, here, and here. Boom. You are now seeing the AOE area of effect of this building. For lumber yards, tree, trees highlighted in green are those that can be harvested, while these highlighted in yellow are currently being harvested. Cool. All right, so we don't need to look anymore on that. Now we need a warehouse around here. So I'm gonna take a warehouse. And I need to make sure that the warehouse circle encircles the area that I'm working in. So I'm going to put it here because we might want to do some stuff with some wood eventually. So, you know what? We might actually want it down here. But I guess if we do it up here, we'll have more space around us. So I'm going to put it right here. Bam. Now that you place a warehouse, you may want to... Oh, oh. Well, it looks like this. Yes. Let us quick quickly fix that. Um, currently we only have these, well, 
dirt roads, but roads, but we'll we'll get to it. Um, all right, we want that there, and then eventually we will want to connect it to the town, of course. So let's just do that right away. Cool. So now we will be collecting oil, and the oil will then be sent to the warehouse automatically. We could send it directly to the town, but I want to send it to the warehouse just in case we need for something else. Let's start the time. At normal speed at game day is 7.5 real world seconds. A month has 30 game days and a year is 12 months. Speed of time for pressing the arrows. Yes. We can do that. So as you can see, it produces pollution, which is, well, not good. If we do pr I believe if we produce too much pollution, we will get um, the town or the region that we're in will become angry at us. Let's just do first speed for now. Um, destinations, we want to choose for our resources and oil. And we want to choose the destination of the hardware store in a high menu. And right there, just leave that because here's our trucks. Moving it up here and that should eventually get sent out again to the town. So that is perfect. We'll start an income from that. Um, now we gotta see what else we can do here. Because we could produce... Uh, where is it? Gas. Produce that gas pump. So we could do that. We could do that. We could do that as well. I don't know at gas pump, gas pump, gas pump here. So we can produce gas, must be placed close to gas. So, okay, so we would need a gas area in order to do that, it seems. Looks like you can't place any of these until you research some products in the tech tree. For example, if you want to place a rice stock farm, you need to unlock any kind of All right, looks like we might need to resource some gas thingy. Um, let's take a look here. Light industry, produce, livestock, drinks, car prototype, first computer remade, diner, no, none of this. All right, no problem. Um, okay, no problem at all. It's good. We are currently selling oil. That's fine for now. Now, what else do these guys offer for us? So what can we do with them? So... We could do potatoes or any of this stuff. Potatoes or berries. Berries could potentially lead to berry pie or wheat, but that seems like it's going down. So we might want to do potatoes. Yeah, let's take a look at what we can do with the with the crops. So if we go up here to the tech tree again and we go to produce. We can see here we can get wheat and then we can get flour, which can lead to chocolate cakes and dough, which can lead to love waffles and berry pies. But I want potatoes. So I will use one of my free unlocks here. I'm going to use these carefully. Um, farms, crop farm, which is the only one that I can use, which I will use. Um, I'll place it right here. I don't want it too close to the pollution area. So I'm gonna place that. We can actually see if we're making money with the green numbers showing up. All right, so let's place these. And oh, I didn't want to do that, but all right, I guess we can might be able to move it around. All right, so that should be. Oh, we need water, don't we? Water siphon. Yeah, we need a water water area. Gather us water siphon. I don't think this place is needed to be close to the water, is it? I don't think we need to, but it would make sense. Hmm. Oh yeah, coastal gatherers. So we need to do this close to the coast. Um. All right, we'll put it over here, I think. 
right there. And then we need to use these. Yep, that is correct. Place it there, place it there, and boom. Now we just need to connect these guys up. Boom and boom. Now we need to connect that to our warehouse. So I think we might need some tunnel going right here. Which I don't actually know how to make. <laughs> Terraforming. No, duplicate. Demolish. Hmm. Oh, tunnels. Maybe I need to unlock tunnels. Let's see. Uh, these may are used to make an in-game product. Okay, yeah. Uh, where do we have tunnels? Heavy industry prototypes. Mm. I can't see any tunnels actually. I don't know how to unlock those. So I'm just gonna have to go over the hill around it actually. I'm gonna just gonna do this then. Live with it. We'll live with it. The water should then actually this will not be sent to the warehouse, will it? Um destinations. Auto okay, yeah we need Choose destination, um, farms, we can send it to the crop farm, but it does not seem like we can send it to the warehouse, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we might just send it to the, no, I don't want it to the crop farm, man, that is, that's annoying. Um, I guess, can we place another warehouse? Don't know if we can. I don't want to place another warehouse. Hold up, pause action here. Can I demolish? Yes, I can demolish this building. Refund. Yes, please, please do. All right, let's let's do that again. Let's get a water siphon again. Okay, so we are actually not close at all to any water within this area whatsoever. Unfortunately, unless we do it right there, that could potentially work, I think. So let's just place it like that and place it just like that. I think, no, does not seem to like my ideas here at all. Okay, uh, we'll just see how it goes then. We'll see how it goes. Let's get some networks going. Connect those two up. Connect these guys up. Connect it up like that. And boom. Maybe now it will. Auto. No warehouse in range. Man. Okay, I think I think I know what we gotta do. I'm gonna demolish that again. See, I'm learning. And hopefully you learn from my mistakes. Um, okay. I'm gonna get rid of all this road here. All of this road. All of this road. Not the tree. I don't need to take down the tree. Get rid of that. Okay. I need to do some terraforming then. Because I think if I want it anywhere close... I will need it over here, or at least over here. So I need to clear this uh, place out. So terraforming can flatten this area out. Clouds are blocked. Okay. All right. Demolish this. Okay. It's gonna cost a lot, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. Hopefully. Water siphon. Hopefully that'll be in range. I'm gonna put it in one further just to be safe. Just like that. Water siphon. There. Hopefully that should be in range of the warehouse. I think it is. This place there. There. And tomatoes for ourselves there. 
Perfect. All right. And now, you know what? We can we can get the game going again because we'll be done here in a moment. All right. Cool. That should work. So that will now go to the warehouse and the warehouse will then distribute the water to the farm. If I'm not mistaken. All right, so we can take a look at our budget menu. Last month we did not earn anything, um, unfortunately, but that's just like any other company. You gotta start up first. As you can see, we are producing um, or making uh, what's it called pollution which is bad now I do realize actually that this episode is just around 22 minutes probably or so so why don't we speed things up here and we name our map our map goes to let's play one cuz it's the first let's play we'll see how it goes alright so the water gets transported and the war warehouse no warehouse should then distribute it to the farm mm. yeah i think those are out to get the water yeah they picked up the water and are now transporting it to the farm which will then produce potatoes which we will then be able to sell potato fields yes potato 35 days I think it's going I think it is going um, oh yes it's going all right and then we'll be able to sell the potatoes at the farmers market here right here I don't think we have any potatoes right now though uh, incoming products. Actually, we do. Let's put a destination just before we end here. Uh, farm produce, potatoes, choose destination, commercial. There we go. Perfect. That should then get to the house, uh, the city. You want to see what your ha warehouse is bringing in? Yes, we know that. All right, well, I'm going to end the first episode here since it is pretty long and the time is flying. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and be sure to enable those notifications. Ring that bell. Greatly appreciate it. And be sure to follow me on Twitter as well and join my Discord. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time in Rise of Industry or my other videos. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.